It's Chloe's American Girl Doll Channel. Hey guys, I'm here with Autumn, and I am not the best at doing my doll's hair, but she lost her curls. And it used to be like really pretty and it was really good ringlets. So I have this set and I'm going to try to bring her curls back. And while I was at the Chicago American Girl store, the, the hairstylist who was doing Paige's hair gave me tips on how to curl the doll's hair. So I'm gonna try that, but first I have to open this set up. So this is the hair essential set. So I feel like hair essential set is going to be very helpful because first, there is a hairbrush. Okay. And I feel like hairbrushes are so useful because I use them all the time and they get lost and all these things, but I love it. Okay, I also love all this. Okay. It's also really important that it's a wire hairbrush because the hairstylist people always say like it will pull out like a minimum amount of hair. And then next is a spray bottle. And I, probably should use a spray bottle more. But I now have one, so make sure you guys always have a spray bottle because apparently like, it's just easier to brush, it's just better for your doll's hair. So, definitely going to use this. And then it comes with this little thing that they always put when they're doing your doll's hair, so it doesn't really get on their clothes or just any part of their skin, because it's not the best to put water on, like more of their stomach. And then it comes with these like curlers, and then it comes with curling paper. What is that? Let's try this. Let's oh, it's like wax paper. I don't really know what curling paper is, but. And the other thing is, seems actually really helpful. It's how to man maintain curls. Steady your doll in a stand or ask someone to hold your doll for you while, you're style, while you style her hair. It will be much easier to put in the rollers if she's held still. You can also hold her between your legs. Okay, so I actually have this like this chair, so I feel like that might be easy too. So, so you have to make sure you strap her in. Just like this. You guys can never use hair dryers or and curling irons because they can damage or even melt the doll's hair. And never wash or soak your doll's hair. Only a light mist of water from the spray bottle is necessary for bouncy curls. Be sure to protect your eyes from the water when misting. So like probably like, like that. So next we're going to put this on. So this set says to curl your doll's hair with the curlers and curling paper. But when I was in the Chicago store, the hairstylist lady told me a different way with like a comb and then it has like a really thin thing at the end. So we're going to try both ways. First, I'm going to try the curling method. So first you just take a really like small piece of hair and then you take your spray bottle and then you just like lightly spray it. Just do it a couple times. And then we brush it out. Remember to always use a wired brush. Okay, I never realized like how easy it is to do it with a spray bottle. I like really recommend having a spray bottle. Now I'm going to take one piece of curling paper and then you go like this and you like fold it. And then you go like down. Next, we're going to take this like roller put it at the very bottom of the paper. And then we just like, roll it up. And then you like, you just put the top back on. So now let's try the way the hairstylist told me. And we'll see which one is easier and better and then I'll like give recommendations of what I recommend to do for your doll. Let's see what the style is. Can you spray some water on it? Just a little bit. 
then you take the end of the comb and then you just wrap the hair, hair, doll's hair around. You want to keep it as tight and as flat as possible. It's fine to overlap it and if some hair stick up, that's fine too. Just wrap it until you get to the end. Squeeze it all super duper tight. Pull the comb out first. And there you oh, go. Oh wow, exactly. And if you ever get like any more curly hair dolls, you can use this technique and it'll recurl it too. But the straight hair dolls don't curl so easily. So, that is what we're going to try to do. So again, it starts with just like spraying it. So I just picked this section. So I don't have a comb, so I'm just going to use the brush that they recommended. Okay, do a little more water. Okay, so the next part, what she said to do is take your comb, but I don't really have a comb. So I found this like brush thing that has like the same like thickness or like thinness. So I just start here. She said to do it super tight and it can overlap. And then you squeeze it and then you just let it go. Okay. That is that curl. I mean, it's wavy. Okay, so now let's take this one out. Huh, okay. So this had like, this is the difference. I feel like these are more like these are more like curly and these are more like loose curls, but they kind of seem the same to me. So the one on the left was the like curlers and the curling paper and the one on the right was the simpler method. So I think they're pretty similar, but I'm just going to do the simpler method for right now. But I feel like you could do both. Like if you want to be like a whole hairstylist and everything like that, like you can just do like these curlers. But if you just wanted to like do your hair doll, do your doll's hair and then just like do something like else or whatever, or you want to play with your doll after, then I recommend this. This is quicker. So right now we'll just do a quicker one. So it's really simple. So you take, I take about this much. Put the rest of it there and then I take the water and I just like spray like one like two times through and then I start brushing and then if I need more then I just like then I take more and then it's good so So I guess we're just gonna do the thicker one. And we'll just see how that goes, because I think like that might be a little easier. And I'm doing it tight, it just doesn't look as tight as before because I did do the thicker one. And then you squeeze it. Oh, that one worked well. Okay, so these are the curls I have so far. We're going to the next section and then we're going to keep working our way around her hair. And then if there are some curls I feel like I want to have it like more curly, then I'll just go over it again. I'm gonna squeeze it. Let it go. Okay, so what I realized you have to do it like kind of really tight. So I think I will definitely use this method again because I feel like if I'm in a rush and I just have to like get the doll's hair really quickly, then I'll do this. But if I want to have like really like a lot of fun with it and like take my time, then I'll do the curling method. But I think it's going to be really helpful in trips because when you're on an airplane, uh, the doll's hair kind of gets messy. And then I need to, if it's a curly hair doll, then I need to recurl it. I can just really quickly do it. The other 
benefit for this method is you don't really need any like curling, like special curling things. You really just need like some kind of comb and then a spray bottle and then a hairbrush. Take this. Okay, that looks good. If you don't have a chair, you can just hold it in like your lap or just ask someone to hold it because it says it takes no time at all. But if you do have a small chair, I definitely recommend using it since it is like a lot easier and you can turn it and it's like, it holds your doll in place. Oh, this one looked really, this one really worked. Okay. And she is basically done. She looks, okay, her hair actually looks a lot better. Okay, so it is wet, but it does look better. Like if you can see like before, this is curlier. And you can also easily do this way. It does take a little longer, but it is really fun to do. But I really like both ways. Okay, I think this was under the so this is what it looks like. It is curly and if you want to redo it, it's super easy. And it is going to be wet, but I think you just like let it set and then it will, you can see it better because it is wet right now. But you know, once it's set, it will look super good. So I really recommend curling your doll's hair because I never, I didn't do it before. Like this is my first time and it is really fun. It's really simple. I do recommend having a spray bottle though. Like I haven't really used a spray bottle, bottle before. It's really helpful. And then I also use it, recommend using one of these if you have it. I think you can also just use like, maybe just like an actual towel. And always remember to use a wired brush. So I hope you guys like this video. I really hope you guys do like curl your doll's hair because it's really fun. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. It's Chloe's American Girl Doll Child